It's all about having the key insights, following the leaders of the crypto industry and background stories on blockchain technology trends to keep you one step ahead. Monty Metzger, CEO of LCX.com, keeps you up to speed with what's moving global crypto markets and gives you the latest insights about LCX's platform and ecosystem. This is LCX Insights Live. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another LCX Insights Live session. It's July 11th, 2021, and I'd like to welcome you to our uh, weekly uh, community sessions here at YouTube and Twitter. So welcome to LCX Insights Live. In our weekly video show, I'm engaging with the world's top blockchain projects, entrepreneurs, investors, and pioneers in crypto and blockchain in honest conversations meant to challenge traditional ways of thinking. My name is Monty Metzger, and I'm founder and CEO at LCX. LCX is a regulated fintech company that focuses on digital asset trading, compliant token offerings, and tokenization. And we have lots and lots of things in the pipeline in the coming weeks. LCX received eight blockchain-related approvals by the Liechtenstein regulator, more than any other company in the country. And Liechtenstein is known uh, as a country, sixth smallest country in the world, landlocked between Switzerland and Austria, roughly an hour drive from Zurich. And it stands out because it's a financial powerhouse with a AAA, rated from, AAA rating from Standard & Poor's. That's the highest country rating you can get as a country. But even more important, Liechtenstein is the most exciting jurisdiction for blockchain companies globally at the moment because Liechtenstein has introduced the most forward-thinking legal framework for cryptocurrencies and blockchain companies, providing legal clarity and security for our users. So today's show is all about Fire Salamander, LCX DeFi Terminal 2.0. And LCX is proud to announce the launch of Fire Salamander, a powerful DEX aggregator. So since September 2020, LCX is offering LCX DeFi Terminal, the 1.0 version, also known as Fire Salamander, Project Fire Salamander. And LCX DeFi Terminal 1.0 started out to be a decentralized trading platform built on top of Uniswap, Uniswap DAX. And on top of that, or besides the interface of um, doing trades, we build a second layer protocol that enables limit orders on Uniswap V2. So that's how we started out in September as one of the first movers into that space, building a powerful platform, and especially the limit orders really stood out to be a key, key feature for our users. But now, Fire Salamander is taking the concept of LCX DeFi Terminal 1.0 to the next level. So LCX DeFi Terminal 2.0 has been built from the ground up with new fresh code, everything from the past learning, but completely um, built on our proprietary technology developed by LCX. Fire Salamander brings trades across decentralized exchanges into one place, offering users best execution prices, lower gas fees, and increasing efficiency for a better trading experience. So what is Fire Salamander? Fire Salamander by LCX is a decentralized exchange aggregator that allows anyone to discover and trade tokens at the best price. Always get the best price via our automatic order routing system, which is based on a smart contract, searching all major DEXs, including Uniswap, V2, and V3, but also SushiSwap, Kyber, and many, many more. Trade fast, simple, and transparency with zero added fees or commissions. Fire Salamander offers a new trading experience with a simple basic swap and a pro swap functionality, a beautiful DEX charting, and our famous limit order functionality, but now also working across Uniswap V2 and V3. We continue to push the boundaries of what's 
crypto traders expect from a DEX trading experience. And that's why we are proud that the Fire Salamander DEX aggregator has been has built the stack to optimize slippage across multiple bonding curves, swap fees, and token prices, ultimately offering a better effective swap rate for users. So just as a reminder, you are free to ask any questions. I will bring in the questions here as, uh, as I'm speaking and then um, kind of explaining a little bit about uh, Fire Salamander first and then going into all of your questions. So what are the key features of Fire Salamander? So Fire Salamander is an advanced DEX aggregator source li sourcing liquidity from different DEXs and thus offering better token swap rates than any other single DEX could offer. The key features of Fire Salamander are the DeFi dashboard, the basic swap functionality for fast and simple trading at best price, so quick and easy, very simple user interface. Then the kind of second key swap functionality is called ProSwap. And this includes charting, best price, and smart routing overview to instantly execute trades across multiple decentralized exchanges. Then limit orders for Uniswap V2 and Uniswap V3 at ProSwap. So at ProSwap, you can choose to go market order or limit order. And then if you choose limit order, you are entering our second layer protocol, which is an on-chain um, protocol, which has been proof tested, um, ready for scale, and really outstanding of uh, what we've seen in the market. But Fire Salamander also offers um, a lightning fast charting and analytics for all trading pairs across multiple exchanges. Beautiful charting with DeFi indicators, advanced trading view integration, everything you would expect. And we are this time launching with a multi-language interface for international users, a light and dark mode, which everybody loves, and most importantly, strengthening LCX token and LCX ecosystem by introducing a governance system powered by the LCX token. So that's all about kind of an introduction, but now everybody is excited or thrilled to see how it looks in action. So let me show you DeFi Terminal 2.0, our Fire Salamander. Here it is. So that's the basic launch dashboard without connected to, to wallet. And so let me connect a wallet now, and then uh, you can see how this looks. So connect Ethereum. I'm choosing MetaMask. Connecting this here. Okay. Next. Done. Okay. So here I am. Now connected to a test wallet, which we have set up. So what you can see with your wallet and uh, switch your wallet. You can copy the address. You can uh, check uh, recent swaps. Um, and now at the dashboard, you see your total assets uh, here in a list with some LCX token here inside and e Ethereum. And then you see the wallet, uh, kind of wallet allocation, um, meaning what is liquidity pools, what is assets. And then you see by trading volume, trending volume, the key pairs, uh, four here in a row, but you can click through them. And what is you, you immediately notice is this is tracking the pairs across multiple exchanges. So you see Uniswap V2, Uniswap V3, and SushiSwap uh, among them. But now let's show you how the basic swap looks like. So this is uh, the basic swap. Um, you can go in and choose a pair. Let's take LCX. Um, and then you can simply type in amount. You see that this six, uh, 0 0.03 Ethereum will swap into 2,500 uh, LCX token. And the best route in this case is via Uniswap V2. And then you can click and see the minimum received there's a timing here slippage tolerance deadline gas price and so on 
So let's go ahead, confirm. Okay, and then the timer starting and you obviously also can see the transaction on chain. So that's how a basic swap is done. Then let's jump on, ah, here it is. So here it has been done, notification, and it can go back to swap. Um, also on basic swap, there are simple things like um, settings, slippage tolerance, uh, and duration, uh, kind of a kill switch if you don't want to wait so long. So that's the basic swap. Let's jump to pro swap at Fire Salamander. Pro swap is has offers the same similar functionality like basic swap, but with a more advanced interface and with limit order. So you can see you can choose between market order and between limit order. So you can type in an amount here, swap directly, like we've done with basic swap, or you can jump into limit order. Um, there you also notice that the license is activated, which means that you need to put in as a user 10,000 LCX token in your wallet. We detect if it's there. If it's not there, it says license not activated, and there's a guidance saying one license is 10,000 10, LCX token. But in this case, it's there, and you can choose between Uniswap V2 or Uniswap V3 and execute your limit order over there. In terms of setting, you can see the gas price set it, um, and then uh, you will find all your open trades here uh, below. But basically, what you can do is say, okay, I want to um, sell or buy, I want to buy at a different price, so I want to get a better price for uh, LCX, so I want to get more. You see, if I'm changing this here, now I would get 1,667, and now I'm adding um, a different price, so I would be getting here 20 more, 100 more, and so on. So uh, let's lock that in. Again, you will see Swamp to Phonisarium to LCX. Go in. Confirmed on chain. And then it will appear in my open orders immediately. Transaction confirmed. Confirm order. And ah, here are my recent swaps. I can see. Okay, let's close this. Um, here you can see my recent swaps. So this has been uh, executed, uh, which I just canceled, um, rejected, and the one which had been confirmed. So now, if I'm going back here for Pro Swap, um, uh, I am see the chart, and I can see all my past trades here on top. Recent swaps. Um, if, if the limit order is not immediately executed, like this one, probably because it was too close to the, um, you can see the uh, open trades, which are then popping up here, and you can cancel them if you want any time. Confirm, cancel, and then it's out of the system. But uh, if you execute a limit order, then this is put on chain and we will have a number which is public also in terms of total value locked, like all waiting limit orders to be executed. And here you can see the price over week, months, and so on in a very simple interface. So this is LCX DeFi Terminal 2.0 with the pro swap, but we don't stop here. Uh, that there's a beautiful charting and analysis. And what you immediately see if you click on only get Uniswap uh, So you can, can you can immediately go in into Association, for example, pick USDC Ethereum or another pair you want to take. And there are like all market pairs there at the touch of a finger immediately there where you have uh, your familiar overview with total liquidity, volume, fees generated. Uh, 
and then also the and they're like going back to uh, the overview here let's reload this quickly um, uh, you want to see back um, for example in uniswap v2 and just search for lcx and then immediately find here one of our pairs lcx eth and then you see also swap removes ads and so and so on so that's the charting functionality i think very beautiful and smart charting analysis and charting overview for uh, multiple DEXs. I've never seen something like that in the market yet. So really, really outstanding. And um, then the last piece of Fire Salamander is governance. And that's something which will be coming soon, which will be launching soon. And that's where you can stake LCX token and delegate them to vote for important decisions in terms of development of Fire Salamander. But going back as a summary, so Fire Salamander is a powerful DEX aggregator um, which works across multiple DEXs and where you can do a basic swap, a pro swap, where you have smart order routing and always get the best price with optimized gas fees and a beautiful charting analysis across multiple DEXs. So you can look into the markets and then execute with a pro swap or simply use the basic swap as an aggregator tool. So, so far um, in terms of reliability, security and scalability, uh, LCX Fire Salamander here is an outstanding new product which might compete to Matcher, one inch or power swap and has a, uh, the potential to disrupt the DEX, uh, DEX usage market as you know it. So users are demanding something which is more efficient and more um, transparent than the going directly to the DEXs. So this is LCX Fire Salamander, LCX DeFi Terminal 2.0. In terms of the technology, to give you some background here, we have um, built the technology from the ground up. So the whole code and um, technology behind has been uh, built completely, completely from scratch, but with obviously all the um, experience and everything we had in the past from DeFi Terminal 1.0, um, with all the learnings and experience and intense testing um, from our users and, of course, the community feedback which we have built in. And now this has been all transformed into this new product, which we will be launching um, early next week, including a complete new white paper around Fire Salamander and what we plan there. And, um, yes, so we are super excited. I hope you too. So let's look into the questions. Okay, great. Very active community. Thank you for all the all the questions. So first question, question here from Abdullah Osama. DEX will be available today. No, it will be available by tomorrow. We'll do a second um, announcement around it when it will be live. You will be able to visit and see and log in at defi.lcx.com and it will be live by tomorrow. So then there was is a question here from Jameson Bottle about stacking. Yeah, so um, you can stake your LCX token at the governance section here at Fire Salamander and then delegate these to vote for the system. This is a, um, a stacking system to delegate to votes, meaning that uh, uh, there's a way where you can influence key decisions on our platform. So, Adi is asking, yeah, new, new room, right? New setup here in the back with some small LCX logos, some big ones in the background. Um, but as always here with LTX Live, 
um, a live session where I'm answering all your questions. Love the white paper, wallpaper, Ligma. Thank you. Um, then Jameson Bottle, L6 running a Constellation state channel soon, trade transparency. Right, we announced a partnership with Constellation. They also made some news around it recently. And uh, we did also a session with Ben, the CEO here at L6 Insights Live. And I had been invited to the Hypergraph Hour. That's something we are working on. And uh, we'll update you first. So you can join our Telegram channel at t.me slash join LCX or follow us on Twitter at LCX to get the latest news. Okay, then Adi is asking another question. How many DEXs will be included in searches and can different DEXs be added easily later on? Okay, so we are planning to um, now launch with um, Uniswap, V2, Uniswap, V3, uh, SushiSwap. Um, then there is, let's just open the, the website. So you have the full overview. Um, you have Kyber, DeFi Swap from crypto.com and LinkSwap. So these are the exchanges which we are launching uh, now so that's all available here on uh, uniswap and on our fire salamander pro swap so for example if you take ethereum to usdc you will see um, how it's calculating how it's checking across the exchanges and then it shows you uh, the best possible route for the trade uh, let me put in an amount. One. Okay. So Ethereum two. No, we want USDC, USDT. Finding best prices. So Ethereum two, USDT. Um, so you can see Saka swap, Sushi swap, DeFi swap from crypto.com, Uniswap V2. Uh, mini swap, link swap are already integrated, and you also see what's the best price and how to get it executed. Let's take another example to uh, USDC, for example. And it will always show you the best exchange route um, with a variety of exchanges being listed. Great, let's take another question. So lots of positive feedback I see here coming in. So Simon saying, wow, looks great. Yes, we are super excited about it as well. You know, it has been over half a year of, of development around L6 Fire Salamander. Now with all the learning we got from last September launch, with the limit order functionality on chain, we're really outstanding and uh, taking the DEX environment and industry to the next level um, and competing with the ones like One Inch or uh, Matcha in, in the space. Okay, great. Lots of positive feedback. Thank you all. That's exciting and great to see. Let's see what kind of question you. Okay, so here is a question from Lane Ivakur. Do you think the LCX fee associated with using file elements will inhibit adoption? I worry that people will get opt to use other free DEX aggregators until LCX adds something unique to justify the fee. Okay, so the limit order, everything works only if you want to unlock all the functionalities. You have to deposit 10,000 LCX token. There's no fee uh, for that, and they're not taking. You, they're, you just have to show them in your wallet, and then you're unlocking all the functionalities, meaning you can uh, do limit orders as well. Limit orders are only possible to people, to users who have deposited 10,000 LCX in their wallet. Um, and uh, the rest, I think, so that's a key, key USP uh, for the Fire Salamander, but also 
um, having multiple um, many exchanges implemented and connected that's a key element um, and then on top of that you know with the basic swap which is for general users uh, very important always get the best price super easy and good to use and then the pro swap for the more, the more advanced users in combination with the charting I think it's really outstanding and um, I've ne not seen it on any other platform like that so really outstanding good uh, new thing okay so so what question in governance so as soon as possible we are drafting it's already on our staging service but uh, you will learn it first so Okay, Chris Keynes asking a very interesting question. Have you any goals to quit the Ethereum blockchain and, for example, use the Matic way to have low fees of transfers? Yes, we have some plans. I think we'll have um, the, the plans to do it in a, in a hybrid connected way. So there will be Ethereum blockchain if users demand it, want it, also Uniswaps running on on that, but um, we are implementing and talking to a couple of other blockchains. There's in particular one partnership which we'll announce soon, which goes around Fire Salamander and which will inhabit this new way that we'll uh, integrate another uh, blockchain, public chain to Fire Salamander. So um, there is something in the making. Okay, nice background. Other could other chains come in the future? Yes, and that's exactly right. Our plan and an announcement following, I think, with uh, I would believe one of the most exciting blockchains out there. So Herod Reth is asking: So does Basic Swap only use Uniswap to make your trades, or does it trade across exchanges? Basic swap is always finding the best route. It's not only using Uniswap V2, V3, but also other ones, Sushi Swap, DeFi Swap from Crypto.com, uh, and so on. So, uh, plenty of uh, ways to trade. Maybe I'll, I'll show it once again uh, how this works. So, basic swap, uh, type in, let's take something more general, USDC, for example. Let's type in an amount and then um, you will see now it's just automatically picked uh, sushi swap from ethereum now the price changed switched to uniswap v2 and in 20 seconds again will be the routing will be different depending on the price so um, yeah not only uniswap really going across all connected dexes here on the platform so let's see if it switches. Three, two, one, and go. Finding the best price here. And you end up again on Uniswap V3 in this case. Good. Another question. So. Hat is asking, so I live in Europe, can't use the exchange because of my citizenship. Um, so this question refers to LTX exchange, our centralized exchange. Um, but I have good news for you for Fire Salamander. You are free to use it. It's a DEX aggregator. You only need MetaMask, a MetaMask wallet or any other uh, wallet, even Coinbase Pro wallet will use. Uh, Coinbase wallet will, will work and you can then simply connect that to Fire Salamander and trade and always get the best prices across all different DEXs. So no need to go through a verification process there. But in at LCX Exchange, as a centralized exchange, we have some limitations and there our compliance team has to be picky and going through um, different, different aspects. Um, in your particular case, we can look into it i don't know it but um in general we just have to follow the rules which are not made by us but it's very important for us that we are compliant and 
following this route, especially now in the current market environment, we really see that this is a key uh, differentiator and USP for us to grow in the future. So then uh, other exciting questions. When partnership with HBAR? Stay tuned, you will know first if something like that will happen. When Coinbase listing, um, so I think Coinbase or Kraken or other exchanges are on the, on the, on the list and we'll get to uh, inform you as soon as this happens. So we are making progress step by step. Everybody who knows us knows we are pushing the boundaries since 2018, um, started out with the concept of 20 of LCX in 2017, and now really taking it forward step by step. So um, I think uh, we'll become an overnight success um, in, in just a matter of time. Okay, then. Great. Then um, one more question here from Adi. Is LCX still working with the marketing team and how is it going along or is the core LCX team, uh, or is the core LCX team marketing only? We have uh, so much good stuff, just need people to know about it. I agree. I think we have outstanding stuff. Um, we have a very basic, st strong uh, team behind LCX um, company. Also, everything what you see is proprietary technology. So it's really uh, important to understand it's not white label. It's not taken from somebody else. We have developed that and put in extensive effort to make it secure, reliable, and also compliant um, based on, on the laws. So this is something which is important to us. And um, so our team now consists of, um, I think, majority really in technology development, but we have a growing team of uh, marketing, communication, and, and business development team, which we are scaling up. Uh, also, uh, not only here, but also on an international level, um, growing uh, internationally with uh, new uh, partners and, and, and people joining in as a full-time team member. So... This is an exciting um, development and we'll also update you on this uh, very shortly. But in, in the meantime, you can share the love, go out to your friends, tell them all about LCX and what we do. And I think there, the, if the core user base is happy and, and growing, then it will also spread over time. So that's kind of the strategy of um, most uh, big, big brands like Apple and uh, Nike who really have a customer centric approach and we do the same. So our customers are most important to us. Uh, we have a customer centric strategy. So customers first, and then uh, we are growing over time, but with the partnerships and with our strong partners, um, we will also gain lots and lots of traction and awareness around our project. So time will tell. Uh, but I'm sure I know what's coming up already. I'm very convinced that this is, will be uh, super, super exciting uh, for the next six months. Uh, the rocket ship has started and uh, we are on it. So LCX um, is taking off. LCX thinking of an IPO in the future. And actually, we got some offers in that regard already. You know, it's heating up at, at the moment, especially with Bullish, uh, the exchange in the US who was doing the SPAC deal with 9 billion valuation. Um, there are some uh, investors who have approached us with that. And um, I can't comment on anything at, at the moment. And uh, But growth plan for that's the excellent thing important to us to grow the company and to grow the ecosystem, uh, not only in Europe, but internationally. Okay. Um, yes, probably here. Morsark um, asking a good question. Cybersecurity is also really important for big players and institutions. Is the LCX ecosystem built with the best security in mind also for big players? Yes. So, First of all, our whole technology stack 
is built on the highest state-of-the-art security standards. And we are uh, not only testing it on ourselves, like we have an extensive testing internally, but we also do a um, penetration test. Uh, we have uh, external security companies checking our security for us. And then on top of that, we have a bounty program where, where users can send us their uh, suggestions for improvements. And so far, we have, there have been no security incidents, no hacks, no problems. And I mean, we are operating since two years. So this is a big, big achievement. And we're taking it slowly with some product launches like here, Fire Salamander, because security is key. So we don't want any vulnerabilities in the smart contract or anything else. So I think with that, I want to summarize I want to summarize what LCX DeFi terminal is, and then I will leave you off to the finals of the European Championship, which starts in 20 minutes, where uh, Italy against England will fight at the famous Wembley Stadium in London. So let me summarize. So what is LCX Fire Salamander? We've all seen now the demo and Fire Salamander is a decentralized exchange aggregator that allows anyone to discover and trade tokens at the best price. So trade fast, simple, and transparently with zero added fees and commissions. So Fire Salamander offers a new trading experience with a simple swap, basic swap functionality, and a pro swap functionality, a beautiful DEX charting, and our famous limit order functionality, on-chain smart contract, a second layer, um, smart contract on top of Uniswap v2 and v3. So we continue to push the boundaries of what crypto traders expect from a DEX trading experience. And we are proud to now launch Fire Salamander as a DEX creator tomorrow. And we've built a stack to optimize slippage across multiple bonding curves, swap fees, and token prices, ultimately offering uh, more effective swap rates uh, for our users. So we were proud of that development and we're really taking our concept of LTX DeFi Terminal 1.0 to the next level. Now LTX DeFi Terminal 2.0, it's also known as Fire Salamander, has been built from the ground up and is based on proprietary technology developed by LTX. Fire Salamander brings trade across decentralized exchanges into one place, often uses best execution prices, lower gas fee, and increased efficiency in trading experience. So with that, I leave you now. Thank you all for joining this special session here on the Sunday evening, uh, Ju July 11th, 2021. I'm saying... Onwards and upwards, thank you all for your questions and engagement. And then next week, let's fire up, start the, the spaceship here for Fire Salamander News. Uh, send it to all your friends and uh, to other communities, to other Telegram chat groups and everything. We need to spread the world about all this exciting new product, which might kick start or um, kick one inch in the ass <laughs> and will um, be uh, the most exciting DEX aggregator in the next couple of months. So onwards and upwards, thank you all for joining in. Bye-bye. This is LCX Insights Live. For more insights, please visit lcx.com forward slash insights and follow us on Twitter at LCX. Onwards.